guitar player, so it's a huge part of my existence is playing guitar. And I, if I have a good guitar day, I have a good overall day. Yeah. If I have a bad guitar day, my life's in the gutter. I've been a fan of guitar instructional videos for decades. You know, when I moved to college, uh, I had no cash, and this, this guitar shop used to allow you to uh, sign in and, and rent instructional videos overnight for free. So I'd take them home, study as much as I could overnight, go, the, go in the next day, rent out another one, study as much as I could, and, and the ones I liked I went and bought, and it was just, it was just, it was just part of uh, my routine. This is a lifelong dream of mine to be able to do something like this. It's, it's something that I've always been a real big fan of. any teachers. I started playing with my thumb and, and went to take one guitar lesson. They tried to teach me Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or something and I you know, said I wanted to learn Metallica. And he said it was too early for that and I said all right I'm, I'll quit and I'll go home and I'll try and learn on my own and that's what I did and uh, I'm glad I did. And here we are. This next exercise helps you visualize the fretboard. Some people don't realize that you can't play any faster than you can play one single note. Over the years, a lot of people have asked me about the alternate tunings that I use, how I find them. This next legato pattern I use a lot in improvisation. I've always tried to surround myself with talented people because it, you know, it rubs off on, on you, hopefully, and, and you can learn from those types. I'm Michelangelo Badio. Troy Stetna. Hey guys, this is Bill Peck. All right, hey, I'm Rusty Cooley. You know, I've played guitar a long time now, and I'm, you know, every time I sit down with these guys, I've learned something new. So I, I know that, that uh, people watching this can also learn a lot from them. Yeah. This is important to me because I spent so much time watching exactly what this is, and I, uh, you know, I wanted this to be done the right way because, you know, you watch one video that has certain things you like and certain things that you, you miss. Uh, one of the main things I think that, that miss, uh, that people never really uh, touch upon in, in, in instructional videos is their actual solos and how they actually play their solos. Not just exercises that made them better players, but why you're in the, to the guitar player in the first place. First part of the Buried Alive solo, I use a lot of rakes. And, and uh, that's why you know, we wanted to make this video have all those things that, that, that you know, I, I missed in, in most other ones. You know, we just wanted it to just go a little further than, than what's been done in the past.